Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you 5 tips on playing The Witcher 3 on Deathmarsh difficulty. Number 1. Dodging and Rolling Knowing the difference between dodging and rolling will save your ass many times. It increases your effectiveness in combat by a huge amount. You need to roll from enemies who have either large sweeping attacks like bears, or monsters that give quick consecutive strikes like noon rates, or in oh shit I'm surrounded situations. For humanoids and monsters that do snappy attacks like Drowners or Wyverns, dodging is the way to go. Within a few moments of a fight you should be getting a grasp of your opponent's moves, such as when he lunges forward or back, or basically any patterns in his fighting style that you can take advantage of. For example, when fighting a Drowner, if you perform multiple fast attacks, he will lunge back, and if you keep attacking, you won't reach him and he'll lunge forward and damage you. So instead, when he lunges back, you dodge to the side and he will miss you, allowing you to deal tons of damage. Number 2. Using the Quen sign. Quen is by far the most important sign to use on Deathmarch difficulty. It has saved me so many times that I've lost count. Even with expert dodging, you will fight new, unknown enemies eventually, and these can catch you off guard. Enemy attacks are unforgiving, especially those of bosses or contracts, and if you simply don't use Quen, you'll take damage so fast, those swallows won't help one bit. Number 3. Oils. Oils allow Geralt to increase his attack power versus a specific type of enemy. It's important to apply the oil to your sword before fights, and it can turn a difficult fight into a breeze. I actually have my character specced into the alchemy tree, so he takes 25% less damage from enemies that his oil targets, making the use of oils even more necessary for me. It is important at Deathmarsh difficulty to be prepared before every fight. Number 4. Places of Power Places of Power give Geralt an extra ability point to spend in his talent tree as well as giving him a 30 minute boost to one of his signs. Whenever you are in some ancient ruins or somewhere where some epic shit went down, it's worth exploring around. I've found them primarily in ancient ruins, old witcher schools, on hilltops and in cemeteries. You could be much more powerful by being more prudent when exploring places. Number 5. Knowing which sign to use in which fight. Fights can be made so much easier if you would only think about what you are actually fighting. If you are fighting a rock troll, use Quen because if he hits you, you're done. If you are fighting harpies or wyverns or anything that flies around in the sky, use Ard to knock them from the sky. Use Erdin against Wraiths to slow them so that you can hit them before they do their fast strikes and use Axie against humans to stun them. It is important that you just think about what kind of signs you're going to use before the fight because in most cases it's completely obvious and people just don't use it. So there you go, 5 tips that will help you get through the Witcher on Death March. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos of useful hints and tips as well as some let's plays not just of the Witcher but other games too.